Yeah, right, guys, Matt's here, finally objective. doing my bootleg Modern Warfare 3 spawn trap tutorial and setup tutorial, I guess, for MLG, Deserto, and for GB variant matches. Any of those are basically the same, they all have the same rules now, basically. And yeah, this is the last map um, that I've been needing to do. I've needed to do it for a while, so sorry for that. I don't know why I haven't done it, to be honest. But yeah, enough of that, let's just get into it. The spawns should be on your screen right now. This is of the ops this is of the spets now spawn, so these are what you're gonna have to be concentrating on if you spawn on the PMC side of the map. As you can see, you've got the circle, which is the main spawn. Uh, no, not main spawn, where you spawn as soon as you start the game, so your base spawn. you never you'll never spawn there again. But that's where you spawn at the start of the game. You've got the you've got the green spawn, which is the one more towards the bottom of your screen, you get the two spawns in the back building. Now this side is the worst side by far, as the gameplay should come and back up for you now. But no, uh, yeah, that, the spawns are the, the bad side, but <coughs> the side that we're watching now, where I am, this is the good side. You need to be getting as many flags as you can possibly get on this side of the map. So first of all, I'm going to show you where your ARs should be sitting, and then I'll show you where your SMGs should be pushing. Right, one of your ARs, 100 million percent of the time, needs to be on this right-hand side. A nice spot where people like to sit hip is behind these barrels for a bit. And when you've got like three or four down, you can push up. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a sore throat. When you move up around here, sit around bricks, you can see their spawn, basically you can shoot through there. And you can move along into green maybe, and just shoot them from the back. Because if you push around here, they're always going to spawn back there, where I'm throwing my stuns. Back there, or in the building. So, this is your the guy here is basically just making sure that your SMGs can pull the flag. Your other AR, should, it depends how strong they are at um, map awareness and things, but if they're, if they're good, basically, they should be sitting here, because they can get the kills going back, which is if the other guy isn't there, so you can help the spawn killing. But the thing is, you need to watch out for them coming through that door and coming behind you, so if, you, if you've got a really good setup already, and you've got someone else already on the spawn kills, just set up around so you can see out of these doors here, maybe even sit behind this car so that you can get them when they're coming out of there, but obviously that car will blow up, so you could even go all the way back here. Just as long as you can get the kills and stop them from going bottom middle, or anything like that. Uh, yeah, your SMGs, right, one of them needs to be pushing on the right hand side with the guy on the barrels so you can help him. The other one needs to be pushing bottom middle. Uh, it's just clearing the kills out here. Um, the, uh, the main flag route on this side, you have to pull. Unless you've got four down and you've got the best setup in the world, you have to pull this right hand side by bricks. If you pull middle, you're just going to get stunned so badly from s off the start of the spawn. And you'll just get killed basically, and that'll be a really easy counter cap. And you can go through the middle, but it's a lot safer to go this way. Um, you should have someone covering middle, obviously. Someone covering behind me right now, covering back there. And one covering road. And yeah, that's just going to be the nice, easy flag cap for this side. Now, moving on to the other spawn now, which is the Spetsnaz spawn. You should have the PMC spawns on your screen right now. And as you can see, um, you have a lot more different spawns on this side of the map. Uh, the base spawn, I haven't put a circle in it because it's the same spawn as the one right at the back at the market. Um, I couldn't, I didn't really want to put a circle on top of it, and it would look messy. But yeah, we've got the spawn. There's two spawns to the left near where A bomb is, I think, on search and destroy or demolition. Um, this side of the map is the worst side, so you need to be watching, watching out for the spawns. As the spawns are crazy on this side, but if you get a decent setup and you know what you're doing, you can play this map actually quite well. And you see the other spawn it is on the road, which is probably their main spawn if you're set up correctly and where you want them to be spawning. So back into the gameplay, this is where your Slayer is going to be sitting, around bottom middle, pushing up with your team until you get until you get like three or four down. And when you've got the kills and your SMGs are pushing that flag, you need to fall back and watch road. A lot of people like to sit on road, but it's really a wasted player. If you just sit behind a head glitch here, you can just see them coming from road and you'll get them every time. And they won't have a chance of getting you really. Your AR player, other AR player, your more support support style AR, needs to be just up on platform around here. Maybe even, if you're a defensive team, you could have them behind bricks, but I would just keep pushing up with your SMGs. Let your SMGs go forward, get the kills, and you can push up around here. Right, this is the most important part about this map. When you're pulling a flag and you've got full down, your AR needs to be aware that they can spawn right here or here, even if you're standing here. Even if you're standing right here, they can spawn behind you. So the best thing to do is probably just sit in this spawn and just keep giving it a cheeky check, coming back, to keep covering your flag runner, coming back, coming back. Just keep blocking that spawn and making sure they don't spawn on the flag. Right, um, if you've done that and someone else is set up, you can even push up here. But it's a lot harder, you have to keep checking that spawn and they can just kill off your flag runner really easily. Right, one of your SMGs needs to be pushing this side with this AR also. So it needs to be pushing up this way. And the other one needs to be coming through bottom mid. 
Um, yeah, the flag run on this side is a lot different. Just um, you can pull it through mid; it is more acceptable. But I still do prefer to go right right the way around the right, as they can throw stuns in from road before your slayer or assault rifle player can kill them. So I just find it, even though it's quicker going um, the bottom way, it can actually be more efficient coming up this way, as you won't get stunned as often, and you've got yeah just less of a chance of being cut off and things like that. So any things your player dies middle, you can just rotate around and get him. So that, yeah, that's basically bootleg for you. It's probably one of the hardest maps to get used to that I've that on Modern Warfare 3, but once you get used to it, it's really easy to get a setup and relay. It's probably one of the best maps in this game, apart everything's good about it really compared to the other maps apart from that terrible spawn that I pointed out around here. But yeah, that's it for bootleg. Um, if anyone wants me to do S and D, um, just give me a shout and I'll and I'll do some S and D maps because I've done all the CTF maps now. So yeah, if anyone wants S and D, just give me a shout, give me a message. Sorry for being so inactive. There needs to be more videos coming up soon, which there will be. And I'll do a commentary soon, actually, because I haven't even told everyone who we've picked up and things. So, yep. All right, I'll see you soon, bud.